Hey there, fellow numismatists. Welcome back to our captivating journey through the world of coins. In today's installment, we're delving into the realm of valuable and rare U.S. coins minted in the 1990s. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of numismatic excitement. Let's kick things off with an extraordinary find. The enchanting proof quarter dollar from 1990, which made waves at heritage auctions. What sets this coin apart isn't just its impeccable condition, boasting a numismatic grade of 70 on the Sheldon scale, but also a fascinating minting error that has collectors buzzing with anticipation. Featuring a double die obverse, this coin displays striking doubling on both the date and mint mark, adding an extra layer of intrigue to its already pristine appearance. And the cherry on top? It fetched an astonishing $7,150 at auction, solidifying its status as a coveted treasure among enthusiasts. Let's dive deeper into the story behind this remarkable piece of numismatic history. Are you in possession of a 1997 D. Lincoln scent gleaming with such lustrous perfection and meticulously preserved condition? Such an exquisite specimen commanded an astounding $18,562.50 at a great collections auction, even after factoring in the buyer's fee. While circulated and lower mint state coins may be readily found, gems of this caliber are genuine rarities. According to PCGS, only two specimens have been reported in mint state 69 red, including this superb gem. If you believe your 1997 Denver penny is in excellent condition, with surfaces free from any distractions and boasting impressive eye appeal, then it's highly recommended to submit it for grading to a reputable coin grading service. Who knows, you might just be holding a treasure worthy of joining the ranks of numismatic legends. Introducing yet another prized addition to any collector's repertoire, the 1992 Lincoln scent with the close AM variation. This near gem example of a modern key issue holds significant importance as a guidebook variety and is highly coveted by enthusiasts specializing in Lincoln scents. Now you might wonder, why would a penny less than 30 years old fetch such a considerable sum? Well, it all traces back to a fascinating mix-up at the U.S. Mint. According to the Cherry Picker's reference, the reverse design intended for 1993 cents found its way onto some Circulation Strike 1992 coins. Here's the secret to identifying if your 1992 penny is a hidden treasure worth thousands. Examine the reverse, focusing on the placement of the letters A and M in America. If they nearly touch, congratulations, you've stumbled upon the rare 1992 close AM variety, potentially worth hundreds if not thousands of dollars. However, if there's space between the letters, your penny is just worth its face value. This particular MS-64 red and brown gem exemplar fetched a staggering $22,800 at auction, underscoring the allure and value of this remarkable numismatic find. Who knew that such a seemingly ordinary coin could hold such extraordinary worth? It's discoveries like these that make the world of coin collecting endlessly fascinating. The 1995 P. Washington Quarter holds a unique position in numismatic history due to its staggering production numbers. With over a billion units minted, it's undeniably a common sight in circulated grades, and even up to MS-64 grades. As we climb the grading ladder, however, the story begins to change. In MS-65 and MS-66, while it retains a degree of availability, it starts to become a bit scarcer, though still obtainable in the hundreds if not thousands. Yet, once we reach the coveted MS-67 condition, scarcity becomes apparent, with possibly only a few hundred examples in existence. Now, when we ascend to the realm of MS-68, we're entering truly rarefied air. This is where the quarter becomes exceptionally hard to come by, marking the pinnacle of its grading journey. In fact, MS-68 is the highest grade in which it exists, with none surpassing it in quality. It's estimated that no more than 10 examples exist in this pristine graking, each one a prized possession for collectors fortunate enough to acquire them. This excellent gem ended up selling for $3,600, solidifying its status as a highly sought after and valuable addition to any numismatic collection. Behold an exceedingly rare find in the realm of error coins, 
the 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on a Sacagawea dollar planchette. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC, this transitional error coin is a true marvel of numismatic history. But what exactly is a transitional error? It occurs when a coin is struck using a planchette intended for a different type of coin. In this case, a Susan B. Bird Anthony dollar struck on a planchette meant for a Sacagawea dollar represents a significant minting anomaly. This type of error typically arises during the U.S. Mint's transition from producing one type of coin to another. The distinction is more than just surface level. While the Sacagawea dollar planche is composed of manganese brass clad, the Susan B. Anthony dollar was traditionally struck on a copper nickel clad planchette. As a result, this error coin displays a distinct color and weight differential compared to a standard Susan B. Anthony dollar. While the standard Susan B. Anthony dollar weighs 8.1 grams, this transitional error coin clocks in at 8 grams, adding to its uniqueness and allure. This exceptional specimen fetched an impressive $12,600 at auction. And now for the pièce de résistance of today's episode, the 1999 Lincoln Cent Obverse muled with a Roosevelt dime reverse. This extraordinary error coin managed to slip through the scrutiny of mint employees, leaving collectors astounded by its existence. The question remains, how did a Lincoln Cent Obverse die find itself paired with a Roosevelt dime reverse? While the specifics may elude us, this coin stands as undeniable proof that such a pairing occurred. Uh, the obverse features a sharp strike on Lincoln's figure and the date, though the dime die, slightly smaller than the cent planche, resulted in minor peripheral weakness on the obverse. In simpler terms, the lack of support behind the periphery of the cent die allowed the metal to expand without filling the recesses completely. Conversely, the slightly smaller reverse dime die ensured a boldly struck appearance on that side. Uh, this remarkable specimen fetched an astonishing $138,000 at auction, solidifying its status as a true numismatic marvel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow collectors, and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences. Your support helps us continue to bring you engaging content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy collecting.